Mr. Bowlby, your wife's ship has just stopped. I've sent Denny. You tell him to get the cemetery flowers? Yes, sir. Good. Victor? Thank you. What am I going to do? Trip, thank you. Follow me, please. Right. Is this Paul's? Yes, it is. Festival of Tachu. Tachu? It's a celebration to appease the spirits of the dead caught in limbo. Limbo? Yes. Spirits who haven't made it to the other world can't join their deceased relatives. Ah, and how do these spirits get trapped when people in this world won't let go of the past? Ah! Oh, my God. If you are dedicated to memories, you cannot live in the present. And it is so confusing for the dead. Are you all right? <clears throat> oh, yes. I guess I'm just very tired. Well, this is an amazing car. Only it should be yellow. <laughs> Funny you should say that. This car used to be yellow. Canary yellow. I'll be right back. I have to place a flower order for Mr. Bowlby. Fine. Do you have a light? No. I mean, I don't smoke. Oh. Wait a minute. Who are you? place to fall in love I'm married thank you <laughs> I had a very passionate love here but the man was married will you have a passionate affair are you kidding mine ended very badly but he still sends flowers every day you should tell your husband that you want a passionate affair have the herbalist make a special tea for your husband. Look, I don't want to buy any tea, and I don't like being followed. Now, just please, leave me alone. You have very strong psychic powers. What are you talking about? The yellow car was called the Canary Sedan. It used to be mine. 
transaction this size, we're talking one quarter, one and a half maximum. I think if we approach the consortium, we might even be able to... Ah, uh, hello. hello. How are you? Uh, gentlemen, my wife, Ann. Hello. Well, look at this. Oh, Paul, look at the birdies. You didn't tell me about the birds. I spend so much time here, I, I needed company. And they don't talk back. Sometimes they try. Listen, I'm very sorry, Anne, but I have to finish this before tomorrow. I'll have Denning take you home. If it's not too far, I'd like to walk. You might get lost. Not if Victor draws me a map. All right. I'll try not to be too late. Gentlemen. You go out of my store. No tea for you. She needs tea to open her husband's heart. Jump here. Lin Chin. Why are you following me? I need to help you. What in the world is that? Things to make your husband fall in love with you. My husband loves me already. Thank you very much. You said no passion. I didn't say that. You were thinking it, though. Look, I don't know who you are, but I'm going to call the police. Just give him the tea before he goes to sleep. You'll like the way he'll pleasure you. All right. Just why do you think you know so much about me and my husband? Because we were lovers. Excuse me? I'm sorry. I wasn't going to tell you that. It causes so many worldly responses. Yes. Like raging jealousy. And possessiveness and crying and pain. But if you'll just give him the tea, it would have such a beautiful effect on both of you. Ask a feng shui man if you don't believe me. What on earth is a feng shui man? A magic man, like a father confessor. Anything that happens in your house, he comes and chases the evil spirits away. You want to meet? Thank you, I've had all the magic I can handle for one day. Hey, wait, your tea. Oh. Mm. I'm not now. Oh. And baby, let me. I gotta finish this, huh? Come on. What's this? Oh, just some tea I found at the herbalist shop. It's to give you a long life. I should never have let you walk home alone. <laughs> oh. And I heard about the Feng Shui man. This entire culture is supported by its belief in spirits oh. and sorcerers. Oh. Mm. Unbelievable. And that's quite an amazing car you have. Mm. Got that car from the family, a young girl who died suddenly. It's hers. Now, this tea tastes very familiar. Where did you say you got it? I told you, the herbalist. Good night, Anne. Good night? Mm-hmm. Paul, I haven't seen you in months. 
I know. I've missed you, too. Today was complicated beyond belief. I'm exhausted. Hmm? I will be so glad when this damn festival is over. Good night. Good night. What do you mean, good night? Well, a lot of good your herb tea did. He's worse than I thought. Try running your fingertips lightly down his spine like butterfly wings. Are you kidding? Go on, try it. <laughs> now, kiss him at the nape of his neck and say, I love you, Paul. <laughs> you have to do as I say or it won't work. Now kiss him and say, I love you. All right. I love you, Paul. Oh. Mm. 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 Oh. What? You've been going through my things. Of course not, Paul. Please, darling. Everything is going. Do you have any idea how stunned I am by this? What are you talking about? Don't. Just, just don't. You're not her. I am the Feng Shui man. Yes. You are having trouble with a house spirit. Well, I don't really know what I'm having trouble with, but ever since I've come here, this woman keeps appearing and disappearing. Is this the woman? Oh, my God, yes. She is Lin Qing, spirit of the house. Many birds and a car called Canary Sedan. Do you know that car? Yes, I do. But what is she doing here? She is caught in limbo. Someone in this life can't let her go. Well, I'd like to. How do I get rid of her? Seven years ago, my brother poisoned me because I was in love with a married man. He said I brought dishonor to our family. I died. But the married man keeps my memory trapped like a bird in a cage. I can only leave this plane if you help. I don't believe this. Why doesn't she haunt her brother? None of this is my fault. No, but you will benefit the most. In this city, seven years after the deceased is buried, they are exhumed. At that time, the bones are polished in an urn because she disgraced her family they won't want to keep her spirit in the house so you can buy the bones burning them will release her spirit in the smoke <laughs> I'm sorry uh, I really don't believe in any of this stuff then you are trapped too Someone you know. My husband. So, it's her car, her birds, and her house. He's still in love with her. No. His heart stays to a memory. And you have the power to release him. Turn it the other way. Which other way? 
don't be angry. Just twist it to the left. Don't be angry. Just twist it to the left. And what the hell are you doing? Oh. Sorry. I couldn't sleep, so I was just looking at this urn. Looking? Damn, you win. That's it. All right. Please, Paul. I don't understand what's happening to you. And I certainly don't understand what's happening here. Nothing that concerns you. You shouldn't have come here in the first place. You asked me to. Well, now I'm asking you to go. I want you out of here in the next ship. All right. This is Bowlby. This is Bowlby. Wake up, please. There's no time to lose. Your husband has taken the urn to his office. Get out of here. You have ruined my life. I'm truly sorry. But if you do this, you will save it. Trust me. You're fit as a fiddle, Mrs. Bowlby. Oh, no, doctor. I'm, I'm hearing things. I'm seeing things. A female ghost, to be exact. And my husband wants me to leave him. I'm, I'm losing my mind. I think not. It's very different here, you know. Everyone has to adjust. And right now, you're suspended between belief and disbelief. What difference does that make? Perhaps if you would consider the actuality of some of these things, you could do something about your situation. You'd feel less helpless, less crazy. <sighs> I'm sorry, Doctor. That goes against my logic. Then I guess you and your logic will be on the next ship home. Trust what I'm telling you, Mrs. Bowlby. Everyone who comes here has to adjust. Go on. I'll be waiting for you. Here are your directions. open a window. Maybe they need some air. Oh, great. So where are you? Walk to the barrel. I'll be there. bundle into the coals. What if they don't burn? I'll look after that. Please.
my God, I missed you. Me too.